What's up, guys? We are back. We're back with another one. We have to talk about this last episode of The Mandalorian, mm. season two, episode six. <laughs> it was a short episode. When I when we started playing it, we were like, oh, it's 30 minutes, you know, with the recap of the previous one. It's mm -hmm. probably like 27 minutes, something like that. It's going to be short. But it packed a hell of a punch. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We had to watch it again. We watched it twice. Well, you know, a lot of these episodes, I've been watching twice. I love this show. One of my favorite shows right now of all times. One of my favorite Star Wars things mm -hmm. of all time. And, uh, I mean, let's talk about the most shocking moments for us. Oh, my God. For There's us. There, was, so there were so many. You know, they go to this planet, Typhon. Typhon. Uh, Mandalorian and Baby Yoda, uh, and to place Baby Yoda on top of this mountain, uh -huh. and with that he would, you see, he would try to like maybe communicate with other Force users, other j Jedi's. Which, very important, it could be good Force and bad. So right, it's either Any, or. Anybody with the Force, right. when he's up there, might be able Both. to sense that. Baby Yoda is there. Yeah. You know, so it's a dangerous thing. I know. You know, it's not like he could just attract the good guys. <sighs> you know, so just that alone, going to that planet, they put Baby Yoda on top, on of, top that, of this rock. Of this rock. Nothing's going on at first. <laughs> at first, not much is going on. He's like, come on, kiddo. Mandalorian do, do is like, do your thing. Do your thing. Do your magic. <laughs> like, like, we can't take forever here. Like, right. just do your magic here. <laughs> yeah. And then there's this. And then Boba Fett comes oh down. Oh my god. Out of nowhere. It's crazy. It's crazy. No, but first, right when he's coming down, I think Baby Yoda, like, finally, finally got his thing going and on top so, of this rock. For me, it's just hilarious how he just, like, goes down. And then he's like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, right. like it's so nonchalant. Like, All right. It's like, it's at, I mean at first, he was kind of chill. You know, he's playing with the butterflies. There's like some butterfly <laughs> flying around him. It's a beautiful planet, by the way. Yeah. It reminds me of Greece. Mm -hmm. Very rocky. Yeah. And then you could just tell the force, the force that the power that he has when he lights this thing up and it's like shooting up into the galaxy. That Mandalorian cannot get through. He like, can't get he through. Tried numerous times to get, try to get him out and uh -huh. get it and he couldn't at one point it's so powerful it knocked him out yeah 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 exactly so for me like for me the first shocking moment we're talking about the shock because there yes, was a let's lot talk of, about the shocking for moment. me the okay. shocking moment is to see baby yoda mm -hmm. unleash his power the force that he has incredible to be able to light that thing up mm -hmm. incredible i i mean we've seen baby yoda do some amazing things but to see him do that. It was, um, I didn't expect it to be so amazing and so powerful, you know. Yeah. I thought it was going to be something, yeah, like he's going to show more of what he knows and, mm -hmm. and, the, and the force. But this was like, whoa, like that's crazy. Crazy to see. Yeah. It, and it was like beautiful to watch too. Yeah. On top of that mountain. It was, it was just beautiful okay. scenery. Uh, and then the standoff, the three-way standoff between Mandalorian, Boba Fett, and then the other character I'm, I'm forgetting her name right now uh she's supposed to be dead <laughs> right who's kind of like half cyborg now yeah and uh that that was interesting to see them land there and boba fett you know he doesn't have the armor we were getting a clear look at him now i'm telling you i you know this character boba fett was like something that it was bit right in the past right Major um, character. But seeing it now, when like he's really powerful, like yeah. he was one of those shocking moments for me. Shocking. I was like, wow, this yeah. guy is crazy. And when that ship goes down, his ship, you yeah. know exactly who it is. Yeah. Because if you start watch Star Wars in the past, you know that ship, that's his ship. Which is a very weird it's, shape ship. It's, it's an like, interesting ship. Yeah, it is. It's very unique. Yeah. And you can tell he's all scarred up. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, he's definitely has some battle wounds. Mm -hmm. And we learn a lot about this character. Like, I feel like in the past we've watched him in action. He's a bounty hunter. And that's, a, that's you know, really a lot of what we know about him. But in this episode, in this short episode, we learn about a, a lot about his character. That he actually lives by a certain code. Mm -hmm. You know, like he, he, you know, he made kind of like this promise with the Mandalorian that you know, for the armor, he would take care of the kid. Now, this is a spoiler. We're talking spoilers here. And at the end of the episode, 
you know, he delivers on that promise. Which is that probably my last tracking moment that, you know, they they stuck to the promise. Right. After Mandalorian, you know, was like alone. He stuck to his promise and now he has a good backup to go and save Baby Yoda. Right. So getting back to shocking moments, Boba Fett kicking butt. Yes. Oh my God. He's using that weapon, knocking people out. You know, it goes to show that he is a dangerous person even without his armor. Yeah, definitely. And then when he gets his armor, there was just it's so done. many there was just so like many done. moments. Oh man. Those stormtroopers, they my, were like My my favorite shocking moment that he did was when he shot the the ships on in the sky. Yeah, when they're trying to take off. And like he he killed them. Like done. Yeah, like, <laughs> and then he made a joke. He was like, I was aiming for the other one. Yes. <laughs> but the well, he shot the missile, hit one, and then, it, <laughs> and he did and then one. it hit the other ship. It was beautiful. <laughs> it was like comical and beautiful at the same time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it, like, it, so far, that had to be one of my favorite episodes of the whole Mandalorian series. Really? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just action-packed. You learned a lot. You saw some characters from the past. You know, it, it was just beautiful to watch. Okay, next, next shocking moment. Next, for you, what was another shocking moment? It's when they destroy Mandalorian ship. Oh, my God. That, oh my. forget about it. I was like, oh, my God. What my just happened? My heart stopped. I was my like, heart stopped when that happened. Like, done. Like, disintegrated. Like, there's no saving that ship. In the You know, in the past, the ship has had its problem. It's gone through a lot. Even in yeah. episode two, where they were in the ice planet. <laughs> that shit was and done. It was done with the spiders and mm -hmm. everything. But this, like, after this, there's no saving. There's no, no saving that ship. He's going to oh, have to get done. another ship. It's done. But I wonder, like, that gives me, like, it gives me, like, you know, hope that he, I'm sure they're going to give him, like, a real cool, sh you he's know, ship get something next, cool. you know? Yeah, but how's he going to get it? Who's he going to, who's going to give it to him? You know, he, he's, he's. He has a lot of friends. He's got a friends. lot of, a lot of got friends. Connections. A lot of connections, and somebody will. Somebody's gonna hook him up. Somebody's gonna <laughs> hook him up. What was your next like, shocking moment? Oh my God! When those dark troopers—I'm not sure exactly what they're—they're kind of like robots. Yeah, they look like Iron Man. They kind of look like Iron but Man. But like they came down and grabbed Brogu. Let me tell you, for me, that was like, oh, devastating. 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 They just grab him and took off. And they were like helpless. The, you know? Yeah. Because Mando doesn't have a ship. Couldn't yeah. go fly after him. He didn't have his jet pack at that point. And there was nothing he could do. He felt helpless like a parent. Like, because now he's feeling like a parent. Yeah. And I felt bad for him. Yeah. Like, he lost his child. You know? And and I think, I think he probably feels guilty that he brought him to dad. Right. And it was like a set out for him to be taken. You know? Like... I mean, he didn't know that he was being followed, you know, that he was being tracked. But now, mm -hmm. he probably feels, like, terrible, you know? Right. He feels terrible. Like, and I love the, the beginning of the episode where, like, the connection between the two of them. And they were, like, playing with the little ball. Yeah. Oh, my God. I love that. I, I love, like, love that scene in the beginning. <laughs> where Mando's kind of like, I know your name now. Grogu. <laughs> Grogu. He's, like, Grogu. playing with the name. <laughs> and then he's, like, laughing. But then at the same time, that scene changes very quickly when he's, like... I guess I gotta, you know, find somebody to train you because I can't train you. And you could tell it in his voice. You know, Pedro Pascal, he's such a good actor because you yeah. don't see his face. Right. But the tone of his voice just shifts. You could tell he's sad. You could tell he, he doesn't want to let go of Grogu. You're so right about that. Like, that's so hard to do that as yeah. an audience. You yeah. know how he's feeling you without seeing his face expression. Oh you know, my God. Somebody, like when you see a face expression, you don't even have to say anything. You just right. know when you're sad, when you're happy. Yeah. But him, like you can't see his face. Like, he what, does... we see him once? No. You know? And we've grown to really like this character, Mando, without barely ever seeing his face. It's just all in his voice and his acting. Yeah. and yeah, is, yeah. He's done an amazing job, Pedro Pascal. Yeah. So moving on, shocking moment, another one, you know, while Bob, Boba Fett confirming that he was actually, you know, lineage of the Mandalorian, right. to me that was, wow, okay, we learned about this guy. Right, right. You know, he, that, he, he did deserve that armor, armor, you know, right. it was that something that he just wanted. Right, it was in the family lineage, he right. does deserve to. Right. But, you know, really nice to see that now Mando has some help. Yeah. 
And a strong help. Some strong help. And he's going to get more help with, uh, what is her name, the lady that now she's like... Yeah, Gina Guerrero. A, yeah, she has like a higher position. And now they're going to try to break somebody out of jail. Right. From the previous right. season to try to get... Which is going to be somebody yeah. probably crazy. So some people were comparing this, like he's building his own suicide squad. Yes. Yes, right. kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know Mando. Mando's the type of person that he's always wants to do the right thing right like he's not you know he's always like the good guy but yeah. like crazy guy but uh -huh. like the good one you know he lives by a code as well yes you know yes. so but i mean last shocking moment baby yoda at the end <laughs> force choking people <laughs> slamming stormtroopers having a little bit of a fit <laughs> like don't touch me you here know? you go can you here imagine you if babies could do that <laughs> Oh, I... And the poor store trooper is like, ah. and baby Yoda's like, ah, give me some macaron cookies. I want some cookies. Oh, give me some eggs. <laughs> I feel like maybe he's probably just hungry. Doesn't eat enough. He doesn't eat enough. They're not giving him enough food. No. So yeah, so um, I mean, this episode was amazing. Directed by Robert Rodriguez. He wasn't originally uh, supposed to direct this. Somebody pulled out. Some other director was supposed oh, to do wow. it. Somebody pulled out, and then John Favreau um, was like, "You you want to step it up, and yeah. and you want to step up to the challenge and direct this episode." And Robert wow. Rodriguez was like, "All right, I'll do it." He said he had an amazing time directing this episode, and let me tell you, he knocked it out of the park. Robert Rodriguez, whew, you a legend for this one. Legend. Yes. Legend. This it, it really was. It was just so amazing. So good. So good. It's so just good. so good. So Mandalorian is like, I don't know, it's just like this thing that you never thought was going to get this big and this mm -hmm. amazing and every week we like just look forward for that episode. Yeah, and you know, I'm just really happy for the Star Wars fans. Yeah. Because for the most part, I think people are loving this show. Yeah. Loving it. There loving is like it. so many like Star Wars fans that like they get together to watch it, mm -hmm. like we watch some reviews after each episode. Like... It's crazy. It's crazy. Right. right. But it's cool. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Let us know what you thought about this last episode. We can't wait for the next one. What do you think is going to happen? <sighs> Leave us a comment. I just want Mandalorian and Baby Yoda to be back together. I know. I want to see that. I it's think like, it's going to happen. It's so sad to see them like they're like right. separated. Well, guys, see you, see you guys in the next one. Hit that subscribe, that like. It really helps out. Thanks for watching. Peace.